Hi friends and welcome back to the Baseball Card Illustrated channel. I'm Bronco, the PSA 11, and this is Mystery Mondays, the weekly series where you have a chance to win the prize package of your choice headlined by the team captain that you select. All you gotta do, and pay attention please, is be a subscriber to the channel, watch this video, and then leave a comment by Friday at 11.59 p.m. Central Standard Time with the keyword, mystery word, or phrase that I'm going to give you somewhere in this video, along with letting us know which team captain you would like the prize package of if the wheel spins in your favor next week on the video and lands on your name. We got a whole bunch of prizes to give away, so let's get right to it. I'm going to move the Baseball Card Illustrated backdrop out of the way and let you know that our first contest is for a collection of Bobby Bonilla cards. That's right, we celebrated Bobby Bo Day on July 1st, and the question on that video was, what would you do with a million dollars? And I'm gonna give a couple of the funnier, better responses that I liked, and then we'll spin and find out who won. We have, in this contest, we have Flying Dutchman Cards, who said he'd rent a suite at City Field and invite Mets Rule along with some other friends of his channel to hang out and spend the night at City Field, home of the Mets. Rob Hirsch, 2011 Cards fan, Poor Man Stack, who said he'd buy a monkey, which is, of course, a line from the Bare Naked Ladies song of the same name. Tony Black said he'd buy a llama or an emu, which also is related to the song. Shaw Racing Collects. Brandon Stebbins, who said he'd open a card shop. A few people said that. Math Bowler, who said he'd like to help some local nonprofits, and that was kind of another popular one as well. Jason VT Sports Guy said he'd buy a box of 2011 Up Tops Update looking for the Mike Trout rookie card among the other good rookies in that set. SW, Case in 2006, RJ Collects Sets, Callie and Jordan Squad, who's been on a roll here on our contest on the channel, Adam's Card Closet, Autographs 2000, Sticks G, who said, and I love this one, he'd buy some event used memorabilia from Ric Flair. Woo! And the Macho Man, Randy Savage. Ooh, yeah! Clumps Cards, who said he'd buy some cards of Babe Ruth, Ty Cobb, Cy Young, Hank Greenberg, Frank Delegati, who wants four New York Yankees season tickets right behind the dugout, Victor Negron Cards, who wants a Michael Jordan rookie card. That's a good one. Michael Myers, not applicable, who wants to buy into a minor league baseball team. That'd be awesome. Diamond Princess, don't talk to robots. And the Jericho 1123, who, like Brandon Stebbins, would also open a card shop if he had a million dollars. So now that you know who's all competing, I'll move Bobby Bobby Bowes. I don't know what the plural of Bobby, Bobby Boniai out of the way. And we'll shuffle once for good luck. And let's see who's going to take home one set of Bobby Bonilla cards. It's all coming in one installment. This isn't like the Bobby Bonilla contract the Mets are paying off from now until the end of time with yearly payments of just under $1.2 million. But the winner of Bobby Bonilla is going to be... Is it going to be Poor Man Stack or SW? Right on the line there. And it's going to be... Poor man stack, congratulations. Oh, that envelope I'm gonna be sending your way is gonna be huge because poor man stack actually was a part of our card show on Saturday shoot around where we got a mystery pack for poor man stack. I've finally been able to say that. And now we're gonna add a whole bunch of Bobby Bonilla cards, including a 1986 Topps traded rookie in addition to a whole bunch of other good cards. So hope you enjoy that, congratulations. And we'll be right back with a little bit more of Giveaway Palooza here on Mystery Mondays. Check out the Rob Deere Starting Lineup World Tour here on the Baseball Card Illustrated channel and on other great channels throughout the card community. Reindeer Studios, Flying Dutchman Cards, Tony Black, Math Bowler, and Don't Talk to Robots have already gotten involved in on the fun, and others are coming soon. Also, we've got a new line of Rob Deere Starting Lineup World Tour t-shirts that'll be in production soon. We'll have details about those coming up just ahead of the National. Now, back to Mystery Mondays. It's time to find our next winner here on Mystery Mondays as we look at the competition last week between Daryl Strawberry and Giannis Tenacumpo of the Eastern Conference champion Milwaukee Bucks. 
competing for the prize package of their choice are Jason VT Sports Guy, Lisa Z, Shaw Racing Collects, 2011 Card Span, Steve Rademacher, Kaysen 2006, Jack Smith, Math Bowler, Jeremiah Baez, Braves Collector, Flying Dutchman Cards, SW, Poor Man Stack, Dylan Sally, Autographs 2000, Michael Myers, Brandon Stebbins, Topps Vintage 316, Don't Talk to Robots, Zach Sports Cards and Collectibles, Adam's Card Closet, The Jericho 1123, and Stix G. I'll let you know before we spin the wheel, we got your Randy Dobnak update, the official pitcher of the Baseball Card Illustrated channel because he signed this card to Bronco. Unfortunately, he has landed on the injured list and is out with a sprained middle finger on his right hand. So I'm going to hit the shuffle button as we wish Randy Dobnak a speedy recovery and return to the Twins rotation or bullpen, depending upon how they want to utilize him. And the winner of the prize package of their choice from last week's video is going to be none other than you got to be kidding. Is, that, is poor man Stack going to win again or is it going to be Zach? This is a poor man Stack victory tour of epic proportions today. So congratulations, Zach Sports, or I should say, Poor Man Stack selected. Got to find it on my note card here. The Daryl Strawberry Prize Package. So we'll quickly go through this and let you know who he did not take as part of Team Giannis. Part of the Basketball Prize Package was... Along with Giannis, the MVP, we got Dwight Howard, Dominique Wilkins, Akeem the Dream Olajuwon, Allen Iverson, a Cam Reddish rookie card from 2020 Donruss, and it's Cal Ripken Jr. month, so a Cal Ripken Jr. card was also part of that prize package, even though he doesn't have any connection to basketball. However, that was not what was selected, so we move on to Team Daryl Strawberry. And we'll rip into this prize package here. Blow into the envelope as we always do, Karnak style. And not surprisingly, Kalrukin Jr. is a part of that prize. Along with a couple other really good players. We got Wade Boggs, 1987 tops. We got a 1986, is it? Nope, 1987 Fleer Don Mattingly. And a 1988 All-Star card of Andre Dawson, the Hawk. So congratulations to poor man Stack. He will be going for a trifecta, I believe, when we get to our final giveaway, which is coming up after I let you know the team captains for next week. So if you're wanting to play along, I'll let you know that the team captains for next week are going to be part of a 1984 Topps redo design, as we've got Mookie Betts here on the Red Sox, and this one, a nice mojo card. I think that's what they call it, right? Mojo? Or if you win, you'll have good mojo. And a little bit of a throwback here with the great Jackie Robinson. So leave a comment with your pick of team captains between Mookie Betts and Jackie Robinson by Friday, 11.59 p.m. Central Standard Time. And also whatever the keyword, mystery, mystery word, player name, or phrase is that we give you somewhere in this video. Now, let's take a look at this. As you may know, the National is coming up at the end of this month. I plan to go to a few days of the big show in Rosemont, Illinois. Now, if you've been watching the channel, you may have seen us do some card show videos, and I've done some mystery packs for those that were interested. And I'm going to throw that offer out to those of you in the card community that might want to get involved with this at the National. You'll have two different prize, price points, I should say, which will be either $15 or $25, and that will include shipping. If you're interested, leave a comment on this video and we'll hammer out the details. Now, let me do a bonus giveaway because I don't like the fact that one person has won twice. I want to give somebody else a chance to win. So we're going to spin for Team Giannis in the prize package I just showed off. I've eliminated everybody else from the wheel and I'll let you know while this is spinning that the secret mystery word player name or phrase that you need to do for this video to have a chance to win our captains for this week is going to be what player would you collect cards of if you went to the national this year 
So leave that in a comment by fr Friday at 11.59 p.m. Central Standard Time, and you'll have a chance to win. Now, along with the team captain that you'll want to win as well. Now, 2011 Cards fan, congratulations. You are going to get the cards from Team Giannis. If you checked into the channel on Saturday, you saw a video from a card show that my buddy Showtime and I went to. And then later in the evening, there's a classic video of me celebrating the Bucks winning in six over the Hawks in the Eastern Conference Finals. I urge you to check out both of those videos. But getting back to the main point, if you watched Saturday on the Saturday shoot around, you would have seen your chance to win an autographed card by Manny Margot. So in the running for this one are Flying Dutchman Cards, 2011 Cards fan who will look for the daily double just like poor man stack. Jason VT Sports Guy, Case in 2006, the Jericho 1123 Autographs 2000 Math Bowler. I'm trying to do this all in one breath. Dylan Sally, Tops Vintage 316, and don't talk to robots, and the winner is... I did it. I almost fell out of my chair, but we accomplished something here today. Manny Margot is packing his bags and heading to his new home in the card collection of... Is there going to be Math Bowler or Dylan Sally? It's right on the edge, and it looks like it's going to make it to Dylan Sally. So congratulations. I know I have your address. I have Poor Man Stack's address. Cards to Man 2011. Leave a comment on this video for me, letting me know your either your email address or mailing address, and we'll get those cards that you want out to you as well. Thank you for watching, everybody. Congratulations to those that won, and hopefully next week you'll be a winner here on Mystery Mondays. On behalf of Manny Margot... Bobby Bonilla, Daryl Strawberry, and Giannis. I'm Bronco, the PSA 11. So long, everybody. You've been watching Mystery Mondays here on the Baseball Card Illustrated channel. Go Bucks!